custom doors made for the house. Um, these are solid wood. Um, but our doors came already with the hole in them. Most doors do. And this door, this knob comes with everything we need in it. It was 20 bucks. And that doesn't seem very expensive, but when you're buying Ten door notes, nine door notes. I think that I think the kind with the lock were like fifty cents more. So I'm just gonna get this all out and. Now, if I didn't have this part in here, how it's shaved down, you can take off like this little little part that fits in that shaving. See how that fits in there? Well, if I didn't have that shaved down, I'd want to take that piece off. And that's what this piece is for. So if you didn't have that shaved down, which some doors, they don't do that, um, you can just set that in there and that's how that would work. Now, you want this end to be the part that goes towards your door, the cutoff piece like that. So that's going to fit in there first. Okay. And then I've got my two pieces of my doorknob here. And I want the pretty side out. So that means I'm going to come over here and fit that in there like so. And let me show you come back. Now inside here you can see there's two areas, right? And that's that's the bolt that makes makes this actuate, right? Well, some doors have a bigger area here, right here. So you can put this doorknob back further to here, but it doesn't go any further than that. Otherwise, you'd have to have a custom doorknob made. So, um, which is bendy. So anyway, so I have it in the first one, which most doors would take. And then I'm just gonna fit this one. You can see that's got a nice square knob on there and that just fits. Put the square with the square, and you fit it right in there. Fit together. I'm going to go down here. This is my plate that goes on the the trim on the door. I want to make sure that handle on both sides is where I want it to be. Right now, it's kind of crooked in there. So I look at my little kit here, and this two screws with the flatheads are the ones that are gonna. Now this is a little key for this in here, so it can be tightened in here. Um, if this little knob gets loose, that's what that's for. So I keep that down in there, and I'll put that in your drawer. And my little Makita screwdriver here which I love to use because, I'll show you in a second here. Now I'm gonna put both screws in and I'm gonna go back and forth on how you get the screws in. And then just start turning it like so. and try to screw it in sideways um, like you would with a, a real knot. And 
And that's why I like this Nikita screwdriver. One, it comes with all these heads right in the handle. And then when I get close to where it's getting tight, it will go, I don't have to keep on turning it like this. It will show you when it gets tight. Okay. And it just kind of helps you crank it down so you can keep your head on that screw head. So you're not hurting the screw. Head. stripping the screw. Okay, and there we go for those two pieces. Now I need my little screws that came in here. And see that that actuates very nicely. Hold the door with my feet, my carpet with my feet. And remember, you want this so it hits the door frame and closes, right? It wouldn't shut if you did it the other way. Now these will screw directly into the wood. You can um, make a little hole um, you know with a drill a little hole if you want to but with these real wood doors I don't think it's needed and again the Makita screwdriver helps me out at the end so I don't have to strip the skirt and then I do the other one screwdriver help you out. And there you go. Over here. This plate goes to protect the trim of the trim here. And just fits right inside there. really tall so he uses a rolling cart a lot but for this application it's so nice to be right at eye level for me so so fast with this Nikita screwdriver a little uh a link for one of these below um, on Amazon if you guys want to get one. It's really nice. It has all the screw heads in there so you don't lose anything and it just pops off on and off really easy. And it does the work for you. Okay guys, so this one is a little bit different. Um, I thought I'd show you this door lock because um, it, I've already got this piece in here, um, but this is a um, for our bathroom. So it has this long, long piece here, and that's just to go inside here. And you're gonna put your door like this and you want it to fit all the way to the end so that it gets inside this little space there and closes in like that. Um, and then remember, you want your handles, when you have these kind of handles, always going that way towards the center of your door. So you're gonna put 
this one in just like the other one. And then that long piece goes in there. And so that, that door knob, uh, that door handle needs to face the inside of your door. And that's about it. Nothing else is really different. You screw it in the same way. Um, after you um, get that in there, you make sure that that doorknob is working or that lock is working. And once it's at, you know that it's working, you can go ahead and screw it in. You know, guys, that's all it is to um, make a door, uh, put, a, put on a doorknob. And um, these, if you ever had a trouble with a, a door knob kind, with the knob, they are cheaper. These aren't that much more. Um, and they're so much easier than putting on a regular door knob. So give it a try. You can do it yourself. We'll see you next time here on Hedgehog's Homestead. God bless. Bye.